Greetings and welcome to another excellent World of Tanks video. I am the Grim Reaper and this is Hell's Garage. This is where your tanks are kept and this is where I live. So without further ado, I will turn this over to the host and I will rejoin you later. I hope you are enjoying a very happy Halloween. <laughs> Greetings and welcome to you, my wonderful viewers. And special greetings to you, my excellent subscribers. I have a series of games for you. One at a time, of course. However, there's something that occurred to me that I have not seen anyone do, so I will be the first to do it, as far as I know. And that is a triple play. What is a triple play? Well, it's really simple. The games I'm going to show you are from a three-man platoon. Myself, Bernie, and Brownie. So in my games, I'm going to show you the way the game goes from the perspective of each Halloween monster tank. That way, we don't have to pick and choose. You'll be able to see literally everything. And of course, with the ability to fast forward or jump ahead or jump backwards to whatever you're looking for, it'll give you maximum control over what you see from the perspective of the actual players themselves so i think you're going to enjoy it in my mind it looks excellent but we shall see how fantastic it goes now the best part is these games have a maximum time limit of 10 minutes so the longest the video part of gameplay can be is literally 30 minutes but we have a bunch of short ones for you and this is number one and we'll start with what was really a fun game. Welcome to Grim Graveyard. Now in this game, I am playing the Spectre. Because, well, you know I hadn't played the Spectre this year. So I thought I would get that out of the way first. And the Spectre is a pretty fun tank. It's a T-3485 and... All of these tanks are tier 9 power in the Halloween mode. So even though this is a tier 6 tank regularly, it's a tier 9 as far as we're concerned today. What's really great is if you look at it, if you go look in your own garage, you'll see the Spectre has three guys inside. Well, three skeletons, anyway. So... You really get to see the guts of the tank. Well, the wireframe, not the actual guts. No one wants to see that. But you know what I mean. Ah. Oh, that's the Bellerophon. I think he pulled me towards him. You better be careful when you do that, Sonny. You just might get what you asked for. So, we don't have to worry about what anyone else is doing as far as Bernie or Brownie's concerned because you're going to see it yourself, which will be really awesome. Uh-oh, triple team, baby. That's Brownie of the Asterion. A ramming special. Now, where is Bernie located? Ah, what a freak. That Roswell. Oh, nasty. Unfortunately, as you can see, Brownie bashed that guy, that Roswell, and it killed me in the process, which was really hilarious. This game is actually almost over. So I am a dead man. There's the ghost train.
that is the Chimera Inferno. So let's go look and see. Ah, a lichen. Fantastic. My friend Wrongway told me about the lichen last year. And when I got to this year, I played it and I understand now why he enjoyed it so much. As a master of light tanks, he was all over this dude and was kept telling me about how awesome it was in the awakened form. And as a also a master of light tanks, I completely understand why he was 100% correct. It was an absolute vicious beast. Our lichen is fighting their lichen. Are you liking it? No, 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 no. Asterion, enemy. Oh, that's Brownie and the other guy. They keep ramming each other. It's fantastic. Ah, lichen attack. Uh, our lichen got whacked. Brownie will get to him. There's the Inferno. Let's check this dude out. Wow, in the Halloween form with that blue plasma, it looks really killer. Smoking. And it's over. Now to switch to another player. Brownies killer Asterion second. My Spectre is third. And the Bellerophon took that dude for the MVP. Fantastic. All right. Brownie is next up with his Asterion. Now, as you can see, the Asterion has the outline of the wall bricks, which reminds me of the of the maze. Actually, it's not the bricks of the wall. That is the path of the maze from the story Theseus and the Minotaur. So, a classic story of uh, thinking ahead. And so in the story, Theseus went and slayed the Minotaur, but the maze was so complicated no one ever made it out. But he took a, rule, a roll of thread and that was his mark of his path that he took. And so after he killed the Minotaur, he followed the thread back to the exit for a, you know, no problem escape. Hammer time. Unfortunately, he didn't get the hammer. That was the other guy got it. Look, it's me and my Spectre. There's that Lycan again. That stupid Roswell is such a jerk. Is that Bernie? It is Bernie. He's in that Death Chariot. Or as I call it, the Ghost Rider tank. Nice. Jet power, that's fantastic. Yeah, it was hilarious. We died laughing when I got killed by Brownie's assault. Because the things that happen in this mode are rather hilarious because of the, the awesome superpowers on display and at your disposal. 
Fresh meat. Here we go. Oh man. Yeah, that was when Brownie got flipped over. He's like, that's not fair, man. They flipped me, but they didn't flip him. Luckily for Brownie, the Inferno Chimera was there to keep him occupied to prevent him from attacking Brownie while Brownie was defenseless in, in turtle mode on his back. Those lichens are so vicious. Nice. Mm, enemy lichen. Oh, crushing. Fantastic. Last but not least, there's Bernie. the flaming death chariot the flaming death chariot was the tank that I chose on my urn op because that the fire effect I knew was gonna look awesome and that skull on top is just like Ghost Rider it's fantastic Now we're still figuring this out. We're not exactly a master of this death chariot. Oh, that guy's just driving around the circle for fun. Our crazy lichen. There's a there's a death the death train. Oh, freak. Trying to see what Bernie does in this thing. I don't know what the scythes do. Oh, nasty. There he is, he got drilled by that, that Roswell alien jerk. That crazy Steven Commander. That skinny freak. Aha! There's the five skulls, which are fantastic. But we don't know how those appeared. We don't know how to make them appear. They appeared, but we don't know how or why. It was really funny. All we know is that it looks awesome. I would have tried firing one of those off to see what it does, etc. So 
So if you've got an idea of how to make those skulls work, we'd sure appreciate a comment. I'm telling you. But that's kind of thing, one of the things that makes it so interesting is that you're trying to learn how to run this stuff right. But I didn't, I, one thing I hated about this take, it's so slow. Come on, Bernie, you gotta fire one of those dudes. Skulls. Oh, nasty. What a nasty view. <laughs> Fire. Awesome. That was awesome. Now tell me that what that was awesome, right? That looked fantastic. So, and it's really interesting how different each one of those versions looked, even though they were the exact same game. Fantastic. All right. Now we're back in the garage. That was a killer game. That was the first game where we all played together in a platoon. That was the first Halloween platoon game I've ever played. It was so fun. Oh my God, we were laughing so hard. So I can't impress upon you enough how much fun you're going to have, win or lose. It's still fun even when you lose because it's just monster craziness. All the way around. Just absolutely fantastic. So, I wanted to show you these you know, these matches. I have, geez, about six more, I think. So, I'll be posting these as soon as I can. I'll probably have a couple of them done tomorrow, which is Friday. And maybe three if I can get, get around to doing that many. It's not that, that bad, really. So... I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Like I said, I have more coming up like that. I got more I'm going to make. You already know what's coming. So it's really going to be fantastic. So thanks for watching. Please tell your friends. That will help a lot to spread the word. And then let them see and learn what you have seen. And also learn today. They can also have a chance to like and subscribe. And that will be helpful all the way around. So I got to go, obviously. I got more videos. And I'm telling you, I have some great matches with some matches with other tanks that you have yet to see. And they're all exciting. So once again, thanks a lot for watching. And I'll see you next time. <laughs>